Give me, give no, me, give me, give no. me. Suck it up. Give me, give me, give me, give me. No, no. Suck it up. Give me, give me, give me, give me. No, no. Suck it up. Give me, give me, give no, me, give me. No. Suck it up. Give me, give me, Suck give, it up. give me, give me. Hello, Zed's Tech Tips. Got a question for you. Can you remotely view what you're filming on Android, sort of like a uh, filming remote? That was a question from one of my subscribers, and the answer is yes, we can. Stick around and I'm going to show you how you can get remote functionality for Filmic Pro for free for Android and iOS. This simple technique also works for Cinema FV5, Open Camera, your native camera app, Moment Camera, etc. Hi, it's Zed from Zed's Tech Tips. My channel is all about mobilography. That's filmmaking using smartphones, action cameras, 360 cameras, smartphone gimbals, and even editing on smartphones. Let me begin by addressing the opening sequence of this episode. However, if you wish to jump right to the instructions, fast forward to this mark. Filmic Pro is a great and versatile app for mobile filmmakers and along with some superior third-party accessories like B-Script, Moondog Labs lenses, have been responsible for various Hollywood films and short films. To name a few, Snow Steam Iron, High Flying Bird, Unsane and Tangerine. These movies showcase the power and flexibility of mobile filmmaking, but they've all been shot using iPhones. Simon Horrocks, on the other hand, co-founder of Mobile Motion Film Festival, shot the series Silent Eye using Filmic Pro on a Galaxy S8 and S9. I'm not going to get into the specifics about whether iPhones are superior to Androids, like the Samsung Galaxy series, or even the Huawei Mate and P series. My first computer was an Apple Macintosh LC2, a fantastic, reliable machine. For multiple reasons, iPhones failed to completely seduce me, and I'm not focusing solely on its video capability, which, yes, is worthy of praise. I'm just going to refer to Filmic Pro as FP from here on. FP was launched on iOS in 2011 and four years later ported to Android. That's a long gap. It's by no means a cheap app. As of May 2019, the app costs US dollars $14.99. The add-on cinematographer's kit costs an additional $13.99 and Filmic Remote, $9.99. The remote isn't available for Android until now using the simple technique. So what grievances do Android Filmic Pro users have? Inconsistent frame rates, inconsistent bit rates, lack of Filmic Remote, the inability to use the higher frame rates provided within the native camera app. There are numerous other Androids that FP is incompatible with. According to the Filmic Inc. devs, the most compatible Android phones are the Pixel 2 and the Exynos variants of the Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, S10 and S10 Plus. That's because they found a workaround for certain limitations in the Samsungs. Keep in mind, as of May 2019, even these Samsung models aren't completely compatible. Oh. FP can use only the ultra-wide and wide-angle lens on the S10s. That doesn't make sense. The one main reason the devs give us for this compatibility issue is that manufacturers haven't granted access to Camera 2 API. I rooted my Galaxy S6 and unlocked Camera 2 API but I was still unable to achieve the same frame rates as my native app. Honestly, I'm not a coder, so whether this method works or not, I'm not entirely certain. It did, however, enable me to shoot raw photos using certain apps. 
Come on team at Filmic Inc. We like your app and appreciate your work. We Androidians are the majority and are yearning for complete functionality. We realize that not everything is within your hands, but the features within your control like constant frame rates and constant bit rates. Isn't there something you can do about this? All right, let me address the remote functionality concern for Android users. Once this is resolved, you'll be able to monitor, control and shoot from various remote angles, show your crew or client what you're filming, even use the phone's back camera to frame and film yourself. iPhone and Android users, if you get the opportunity to test the app's cross compatibility, please let me know in the comments below. How do you intend on utilizing this new technique you're about to learn? Let me know in the comments below. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon. Finally, here's what you've been waiting for. Visit the App Store or Play Store and install either AnyDesk or TeamViewer on both your devices. Your secondary device can be a smartphone, tablet or even a PC. For the PC version, visit the app's website. Today I'm going to show you AnyDesk. They both serve the same purpose and have similar interfaces. There are a handful of other apps, but I found AnyDesk to be the most reliable. Okay, so first thing is you want to launch Filmic Pro before you open up AnyDesk. Now once Filmic Pro is open, you want to frame whatever you have in shot, you know, move your camera around and then swap back to any desk and open up any desk on both your devices. As you can see, I've got an address on my Galaxy S6 which is the top phone. So I need to ent enter that address into the remote panel which is down at the bottom. You can add security where it can be password locked so nobody can misuse this feature and connect to your device without authorization. Though it will pop up with a screen saying, do you want to connect? So just like that, you will have a message pop up and then go ahead and accept it. Once you've accepted the connection, swap back to Filmic Pro. That's it, easy peasy. All the settings work, you're checking out the focus, you can go into the cinematographer's kit, you can zoom in, zoom out, change the resolution, record, everything works. As you can see, there is a slight lag, but that's absolutely normal. For this to work, you will need to be connected to the Wi-Fi network or a mobile hotspot or even use your phone as a hotspot. Your phone will overheat. Now that's quite common even with Filmic Pro. So with this, not only will your phone overheat, but your battery will drain a lot faster because it is a graphically intensive method. Or let's just say it is a very CPU intensive method to be doing this. So all the functions work, you can go ahead and hit record. If you do have an error message from Filmic Pro where it only records up to four seconds of video, then what you want to do is in any desk on both your phones, you want to go into the settings and switch off audio transmission under audio. So I've just hit record. You can see it's recording quite clearly. Slight lag, but that's expected. If you think this has helped you unlock the complete potential of Filmic Pro, do consider subscribing, give me a little thumbs up and hit that bell icon. As always from me Zed, thank you so much for watching.